first episode of a new series. You probably already saw the title, so no surprise there. It's going to be a new game called Ziggurat. And uh, let's just hop right to it. I haven't played this game before. I've seen maybe three minutes of a Total Biscuit video about this. And I just want to try this game. It's, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's a roguelike FPS. And uh, supposedly it's uh, hard as balls. It's uh, pretty fast, as you can tell. It, it has like the classic twitch shooter controls. But um, so far I'm not really worried yet. Hmm. So you start with uh, two weapons. You have a wand that has recharging energy and you have a green staff which has limited energy. You can pick up uh, crystals to uh, increase your energy and uh, otherwise, well, let's see what's happening. So far I've been attacked by weapon throwing ghost skeletons and mushrooms. Sounds like you're having a Friday night. Okay, so the rooms have modifiers. There is an obvious crack in the wall behind me, but it didn't open when I shot it, so maybe there's a special requirement. And oh god, the floor is slippery. Um, also, this is the default movement speed. These things are just attacking me at ridiculous speeds. And, um... I'm... I'm just walking. I'm just walking. Oh, level up. Okay, so you can choose perks. That's great, that's great. So I chose a perk that gives me more ammo for my uh, green weapon type. And there's a lot to pick up here. And the green weapon seems to do significantly more damage. Uh, every weapon has a normal fire and an alt fire. Uh, the normal fire on this weapon is, is a single pellet. Let me turn off that motion blur, it's making me crazy. <laughs> it's a single pellet, and if you right-click it, it fires four pellets. Okay, so I can offer some mana to this statue and get a gift. Okay, so I found a secret. Probably behind that wall. Okay, extra drops on enemies, that's also great. And this one's for free. Reduced alchemy mana usage. <laughs> I can deal with that. That's great, that's amazing. Um, now I just need to find an alchemy weapon. I think that's either the second or the fourth. I think the green one is supposed to be called Staff Magic. Okay, blowing up those barrels. Okay, I guess I just need to put more damage on this thing. Ah, there it goes. Okay, I found a new perk. Hey, now when I destroy barrels, Power. Other environmental objects, are there more than barrels? I get a little bit of health back. Which is good. I like health. Being healthy is good for you. So, moving on, exploring these rooms. Still need to find the portal key, and uh, once I find that, I'll be able to face off with- Oh, look at that. There it is. And now I can summon the guardian of this floor. But first, let's do- Ow! Ooh, a little exploration, and I was said he said as he walked straight into a trap room and got shot the shit up. Uh, okay. Now we have these skull raptors that are trying to jump at me. I don't know what else to call them. Wanna be chickens? And these banshees that shoot green shit. Otherwise, dead end. Oh, I walked straight into the arrow trap again. I I gotta be more careful. Okay, let's go and clear this room. What kind of monstrosity do we have this time? Okay, so these are slimes. And they dodge you when you shoot them the first time. Okay, let's make use of that. Uh, so far the wand weapon doesn't seem that bad. I guess it will get worse as the game progresses. If you can beat this entire game with just a wand, then... Well, this is going to be fairly easy for a roguelike. No need to collect stuff. Bookworm, get an extra choice whenever I level up. No more choosing of two. Go straight for three. That barrel had a trap in it. Well, so far so good. I am full health. Um, and uh, it seems like I've almost discovered every room on this floor, so I'm not missing any upgrades. Dodge the arrow. Haha, -ha, screw you, arrows. Hmm. Okay, one more wave of minions. I was expecting something to pop out of the water, but I guess it's fire spitting demons and heads, which is pretty much the exact opposite from what I expected. 
Um, being roguelike as it is, I think the entire dungeon and map design is completely random. Uh, this is my first playthrough, I'm not entirely sure about this, but uh, I'm sure we'll see a second one. Uh, the goal of today's challenge is to beat the game without looking up any information about it. Just play and uh, beat the game in one sitting. So, um, while I may upload this as multiple episodes, I will be beating the game in one sitting. I will not be getting up. Um, and, um, <laughs> well, with a little bit of luck, uh, I'll beat it in this sitting. So far, the game isn't that hard. Um, though this guy is really hard to dodge. Oh god, he hits fast. He doesn't hit hard though, so go to sleep Sir Arthur, let me pick up your loot. These guys are dropping gold. I don't know what the purpose is of gold, because it seems those yellow icons are going towards my XP bar, and the green ones are filling up my mana, and the blue and yellow ones are probably going to fill up my blue and yellow bar. Oh, okay, so this is the blue one. Frozen Soul. Left click shoots a lot of projectiles, right click shoots few projectiles. I'm not entirely sure what they do yet. This room I can only use my wand, but I have increased wand damage. That sounds amazing for me, actually. It means I can replenish my green energy and at the same time not lose any other type of ammo. Okay, you can shoot that projectiles. <laughs> yeah, da, da, da. So far, it's fairly easy. Bum, 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 bum. Are there difficulties on this game? I actually didn't check at the start. I, I think I'm playing on normal difficulty, so... Um, at, at least I didn't change anything. So, so far, it's uh, pretty doable. Especially if you compare it to um, another roguelike FPS, Tower of Guns. Which is... Uh, Hell. <laughs> okay, uh, this one has slower enemies, okay. Like, they need to be slower. Ow! How, how the hell was I supposed to dodge that? I actually did jump. You know what? Freeze. Oh, let me just shoot you till you die. Oh. Damn, these guys are bulky. These guys are not. I like these guys better. Uh, healing myself? <laughs> hell no. I can pick up health anywhere. Give me more ammo. Permanent upgrades f are way more important than any type of insta satisfaction. Trap room, more arrows, screw you. Blade wall, screw you. More arrows, screw you. Hi. Okay, oh, okay. Well, I'm guessing I am have to destroy these obelisks. So let's just spam the shit out of them. One down. I'm guessing these uh, these obelisks um, summon minions continuously or something. A little bit cliche, but uh, hey, it works. There you go, no more minions for- oh, okay, now I actually have to kill the minions that it summoned, but hey, at least they're dropping some good amounts of cash, which I still don't know the purpose of. <laughs> yes, it's for unlocking things. Maybe if you die, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Mm, next room. Ooh, it's all crystally there. That's where the boss is going to be. But first, I need my portal key. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Floor ring. There's one across the hall from here. After I dodge all of this. So far, so good. Oh god, these enemies have flatulence. No! I guess my dog would like these enemies. Oh, okay. These these guys are hitting pretty hard. Uh, their lightning balls are hard to dodge. Luckily, they don't do a lot of damage. So, I'm just gonna freeze them so they can't do their nasty stuff. Oh, that guy just went invisible. I thought he died, but he went in... Uh, look! Shot at thin air, and, and there, there he is. <sighs> Cheats. Uh, more health. Health sounds good. I like health. Don't like it when enemies have health. I'll shoot these barrels, get my health back. Dodge the nasty green shit that comes out of them. Get some XP. And let's move to the next room. 
what is in store for our heroine. Find out next time. Right now. Oh my god! It is carrots! I must eat them so I will not lose my eyesight. Oh, luckily, these guys are all kind of weak. Except this guy with the green glow around him. Boom, 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 boom. That should be the soundtrack for this video. Not sure if the Vanga boys will like it when I do that without royalties. Oh well. Oh well. Boom. Die. Everyone dead? We have respawn on the other side again. <clears throat> hey, two guys with one shot. Not bad. Now die. So, this room is useless. Uh, that thing is not budging. So I guess this was just the free XP room. Oh! There is a sprint button! Do 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 do! I thought, uh... There wasn't a sprint button, but it was on the right shift. Who the fuck goes for the right shift on a WASD control scheme? I'll tell you, no one. Also changed a couple of other buttons. I guess we're doing some hoppity hops. Always love jumping puzzles in first person shooters. Those are favorite. Oh, cool. Found an amulet. Amulet. And if I use it, I recharge some of my mana. Eh, I'll use it later. Don't need it right now. Does that bookcase die? No, it does not. Boom, boom. Shooting barrels. I have a lot of health already. And I found my portal key. Let's go find us a guardian. Hello, guardian. Boom, 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 boom. Dodging, dodging, dodging. I love sprint. Oh, don't have to do this room again. Now, let's see who's behind door number two. It is... Ba -da -da -da, Queen Amanda, the forgotten soul, and soon to be the vanquished soul. He doesn't freeze. Oh, at least I tried. Let's just blow her up with the spread fire, the link gun from Unreal Tournament, and it's gone. Okay, gather the items, get the everything leveled up. Let's try Amnesia. Uh, that really didn't work out well. And that should be the end of stage two. Be more next time. For now, beautiful day. Good night. Bye.